Our backs are pinned against the wall here. Just realized, can't do that. Otherwise the green screen's gonna screw it up. But yeah, we're pinned against the wall here. We are not in the best position. 3-2 series lead for Tampa Bay. But that's only two games. Yeah, we can win two games, okay? So I believe every team has won on the road so far, which is not good for us actually. But hopefully we can keep that pattern going here at least and then maybe change it in game seven. I am still curious to see if we have injured players. So Phillips has been a machine recently, actually. He's been Captain Clutch. So on defense, we... St oh, we don't have Crosby anymore. We got Shaw. Mason Shaw playing defense. Is Crosby on offense and I missed him? Or is he scratched, injured? Let's see. Scratched. He is just a healthy scratch. We are healthy scratching Sidney Crosby now. Well, here goes nothing, guys. Hopefully we can get a big win here and push a game seven, but if not, then say la vie. It is what it is. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. Kenny, what a beautician. All right, we have a two goal lead here heading in to the final period. Oh my, and we have a five on three to start this one. I didn't even notice that till now. I mean, it's period still just started, so it's not like it took me that long, but I mean, to be fair, you gotta be kind of quick with those. Do it, shorthanded. Oh, I mean, not shorthanded. That would've been a power play goal. I'm all over the place right now. I'm also Victor Mete, so perhaps that explains it. Let's go, number thief. What do you got? A nice pass in the middle is what you got. And just missing the net there is Evgeny Kuznetsov. That would have gave us a 3-0 lead, which would have been massive. Right now, we do have the worst lead in hockey, so we should probably get on that. Let's go, Kuzi. Nice. Shakes off the hit. Passes it back to Shabbat. Wow, okay. So Shabbat and Kuzi have some chemistry going right now. Love to see it. Good job, guys. The passing has been immaculate so far. Oh, no. Kucherov. Good defensive play there by five. Let's go, Senators. Oh, no. Walking in. Oh, fast. Yes. What a save. Holy smokes. He tried to go five hole on me there, I think. That cheeky little bugger. I'm pretty sure he tried to do the classic NHL move where you go backhand. Goalie goes, oh, no. He's going to score. Goes like this. And then you just tuck it in between and make the goalie look like a fool. But that didn't work. But that did. Okay. Well, still have the lead, thankfully. But that was a weak goal. Oh, don't do this to me, Tampa. Let me push a game seven here. Come on. Chill out for a minute. Let's talk. Can't we settle this over a pint? Do this, boys. We need this. We really, really need this win. Well, we, we actually do. Like, you know. It's not like, oh, we need this, like, so bad. No, like, we actually do. Otherwise, we're out. So, that's how this is working. Nice. We're getting a power play. That is massive. So, hopefully, they dump it down. I get a goal. Good night, Jim Kite. Game's over. Or, hopefully, the team scores. And either way, we have a two-goal lead, which would be substantial at this point. They're not even going to dump it down, are they? What a bunch of weasels. At when? Okay, he finally tried, but... Hit our guy. Let's go, Kenny. Kenny! Oh, if he picked that top right corner, I think that was a goal. No doubt. That's a dump. And that's a pickup. I'm not going to take a penalty, right? Okay, good. Stay away from me. And let's line it up. That's not on. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. I missed it by about an inch. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. Dodge. Never mind. I'm pretty sure I just got hit in the face with a stick. So maybe we should call it. But I might end up... Destroying Georgiev into the point of getting pulled like I did to who was it was it Bobrovsky? I think oh that was a fleece. You just got swept my friend Yikes, let's I can't celebrate. I forgot nice pass nice pass. Wow. That was just Great passing from the Ottawa Senators. I was surprised and impressed. Oh nice save Shot it from behind the defenseman there, but luckily was still able to see it long enough to get the blocker on it. Well, the power play's over. Tampa Bay is flying out there right now. So I'm a little scared. I'd be lying if I said I'm not shaking in my boots. Mac over to Fast. Fast in the middle! Ooh, I don't know if I got a piece of that or if that just missed the net. I do want to see a replay, though, because if I save that, that's insane. I don't get it, man. Why? Why is it my reaction to just slide... All over the damn place. Okay, well, at least... Will I feel a little bit better? Did I get a piece of this one or no? I did not. He just straight up missed the net. Cool. So if I wasn't the most jittery person on the planet, then I wouldn't have slid so far. And as a result, I would have been right here. Most likely. Could have made an easy save. But 
nonetheless, we are here. They actually tried. They're really trying to do this to me right now. I, I genuinely tried to pass it. I'm just so over this right now. It's dumb. It's silly. Even though that goal was my doing, basically. So I don't really have anything to be mad at except for myself. Oh, we're really going to have to do this whole overtime thing again, aren't we? We truly are. Man, I swear, when this... When I'm done recording this video, I'm not looking at a screen for about 48 hours. This is my fourth video today, and in between this one, oh my word, and the other one I just recorded, I was editing those two, so it's just been a, a day of work, essentially, I guess. That's it, we're done. We're out. We're out. We are officially eliminated from the playoffs. What an absolute disaster. I feel like I should copy-paste that, like, Tampa Bay tweet and pin it in my comments at the top, you know? Like, we hear you, we understand, we're upset too, or something, I don't know. Whatever the hell that message said. But, wow. That sucks, man. That really does. We are out. Tampa Bay, moving on. That was so winnable. That was so unbelievably winnable. And I just choked. I just choked. Well, you know what? It happens sometimes, so... Just learn... <laughs> At least I beat him up. So, you know, that's a win. Now I have to go talk to that damn reporter about being eliminated and not winning the series. Oh, I'm sorry I let you down, reporter. I don't need to satisfy you, that's for sure. I also absolutely did not win any trophies this year. No shot, okay? That's not even up for debate. I wasn't even close. And we have just, yeah, awful ratings from the coach there. I'm not surprised, really. That is deserved. Uh, well, let's keep on simulating here and see who wins the Stanley Cup, I suppose. Yep, here we go, guys. It's not a good press conference, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. With that loss, your season is now over. How disappointed are you that you couldn't pull off the comeback? I liked our chances at the start of the series. We played well, but it just wasn't enough to get the job done. Your team is in good position to have a strong season next year. Okay. All right. Well, that's funny because this is Tino Manny's last game as an Ottawa Senator. Yeah, I said it. The Montreal Canadiens are the Stanley Cup champions, and the Henderson Silver Knights are the Calder Cup champions. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's have a conversation with our agent... I'm assuming something expired. That's probably what this is about. I just got an email that your recording studio expired. Do you want it? Yeah, sure. Let's let's go ahead and renew it. Why not? Might as well. It's not worth a whole lot. I mean, 118,000, don't get me wrong. Or 12,000. It's a crazy amount of money. Absolutely ridiculous. But when you're making as much as these NHL players, it's like pocket change. Here is the draft lottery results. Dallas moved all the way up from 9 to 1. Colorado from 12 to 2. Holy smokes. Sucks for Columbus. Well, now we can check out the statistics from the year. I'm assuming we already checked out the team standings and all that stuff. I can show you the playoff tree real quick if you guys want to see how Montreal got there. They did not go to Game 7 once. They had a five-game series, and then a sweep, and then a five-game series against Tampa. And in the Stanley Cup Final against Edmonton, they did go to six, but... They never went to seven. And then the awards here, obviously we knew that. I'm pretty sure we already went over Anaheim winning the presidents as well, but that was probably a while ago. So Connor McDavid got the Art Ross. Barkov gets the Hart. Doughty with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Patty Kane. Chimera gets the Calder. Oh, wow. So Dallas is gonna... They just had a Calder winner, and now they have the first overall pick. That's crazy. Montreal. Con Smythe goes to Carey Price. Uh, Gibson gets the Vesna Women. Jennings goes to Shesterkin. Moritz Sider gets the... Bill Masterton, Frank J. Selke goes to Barkov. Same with the Ted Lindsay. And the Maurice Rocket Richard goes to Connor McDubstep. I just realized we're 96 overall now. Not that, that really makes a difference, but basically, what I think I'm going to do is if we don't get an offer from a good team to sign, I'm probably just going to re-sign with Ottawa and then ask for a trade. So, yeah, we're done here, though. We had a good run for sure. Colorado went 42-37-3. They only have one goalie, and then they have three, but... I mean, obviously, we're going to win. It's two years, 8.2 million. They had a good season. Let's go there. Let's let's try it out. We are headed to Colorado, baby. It's time to start fresh. I'm assuming we're probably going to have some kind of interview here or I don't know. 
press conference, anything, or not. Look at that, that looks weird, man. Okay, we gotta go update the equipment for sure. Uh, would you like to put on a friendly game between you and some of your teammates? Yeah, sure, why not? Sign me up. The fans will really appreciate it. Seeing their favorite player up close is going to bring smiles to their faces. Great. Okay, at least as long as I get the plus 25 brand-like ability, I don't care about their faces. And a new conversation with our agent again. What's going on this time, dude? What's up? Yeah, okay. You can pat me on the shoulder, but now talk to me. Hey, Tino, the NHL is participating in a multi-sport event. They need a player to represent them. The league wants to know if you're interested. Sure, why not? That's a big honor. There are so many great athletes. I'm thankful they asked me. The plan is to participate in multiple events that cover sports like hockey, soccer, basketball, and more. Sure, why not? Teammates? Am I getting them involved? Whatever, I'm out of here. I don't want to read it anymore. The entire Avalanche organization is cheering for you. Yeah, well, I just got here, so they probably love me. Right up until they see me play in that home opener, and that's going to Uno reverse card real quick. Another conversation with Mr. McKay. What's up this time, dude? Did my studio expire again? Let's see. What do you think of playing a pick? Okay, well, sure, why not? Play some pickup outside the team store, and... Oh, I'll be there, I just wouldn't pr participate, okay. Whatever. I don't think it matters at this point. I'm pretty much maxed on everything. There needs to be an option like ghost. Just ghost my agent. I don't even want to talk to him anymore because look at thousand, thousand, thousand. Can't get any better than that. Literally. Okay, guys, here we are. We are in Colorado. We definitely need an equipment upgrade because yikes. And yeah, we have Chicago and game number one here. So let's go put some new equipment on. Tino Manny. Also, side note, I did not even notice this until right now. I can't believe I didn't even think about this. I see number 72 in the upper right-hand corner, and on the left arm there, well, I guess technically his right arm, I, that's a that's a two. That's not a one. Let's go. We finally get our number. All right, I kind of like it. Yeah, I'm down. So we're going to be rocking CCM. I guess I'll also change the stick type to be a CCM as well. I don't know why it's being weird like that, though. The colors are not showing up properly. So if I go here and do this, oh, maybe I'll just... Oh, that's Warrior. Never mind. You guys hate Warrior, apparently. Well, there you have it. I think this is going to be... Oh, look at that number. That's just a thing of beauty right there. But there we go, guys. I think that will do it. You know what? Let's go to the calendar here and let us simulate up to this game here against the Winnipeg Jets and see how the preseason goes. Hopefully we do okay. New conversation with our coach. What's going on, coach? How can I help you today? Let's see. Don't get too discouraged. It's a tough league and a long season. Injuries? I got hurt already? Get me out of here. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's our game back from injury and we won. And now... Look at some of the other oh. possible candidates who could stick in the NHL this year. How about right here? And I'll tell you what. The goaltender of the future... Keep up the good work. ...might be the goaltender of now. How good has he been so far Jeez. this season? I love what I have seen. He has looked comfortable. He does not look like a rookie. I don't know. He does not seem overwhelmed by the shot selection look. that he's had to face. Does not I'll look. tell you what, right now, I've got him on this. You know why I don't look like a rookie? In my mind, he's making this team. That's my opinion. Any I'm ideas why I don't look like a rookie, James? Conversation with the former Throw it out there. Brainstorm. Anything. Come up with something. Why do you think I don't look like a rookie out there? It's really not that difficult. What has really impressed me so far in camp? Is it Tino Manny? The fact that goalies take so long to develop. Don't get too cocky. And this kid looks like he's ready to go right now. I think he's going to be on the opening night roster. And I know there's one more game. I think he's going to be on the opening night and roster. I think you'd like to see him finish whispering, strong, James. is an ASMR. But based on what I've seen so far, he's on this team. Okay. I love what Thank I've you. Seen Thanks. I mean, he I'm on the ready. team, regardless. Ready for oh! Ho -ho. What say you? Let's go to the phones. Line number five. Is he going to... The preseason is over. There are some things you can improve, but I put you on the final roster. Let's go. Yeah, that last game was foul. How the hell did that happen? Night. I think one of the biggest surprises I think we've seen so far in the last couple of weeks through preseason has to be the one right here. What? As the young rookie What's that even the mean? Between the pipes and look, this has to be a shocker, <laughs> right? To be picked Just shocked. Are, 96 overall goalie? Pick. Shocked. Well, well, well. 
probably the highest rated goalie in the league. Finally gets his name. All he does puts his head down, goes through camp, <laughs> and dominates to earn himself a roster spot. Oh yeah. I'm really impressed how he's handled himself. Super impressed. And prime time is just around the corner. Can't wait. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got a lot wow. of people want to jump on here on the phone lines, and so we'll get. Not even starting in the season opener. I see how it is. New conversation with reporter Clements. Am I gonna get ripped? I didn't even play. What are you gonna ask me? Okay. Tonight's win, you hold the record for most wins in a season by a rookie goalie. What? What's going on? This mode is busted. Holy. Okay, sim to the next game. Are we... Wait, we didn't even win! We didn't even win. Is this real life right now? Maybe... Okay, I, I should also go check the lineup to see, you know, what the hell we're dealing with here. If I should ask for a trade already. Get out of here. Bro, what is this? Who's their other goalie? All right, we finally start against the 4-0-0 Philadelphia Flyers. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Holy crap, this game sometimes. Okay, well... Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. This isn't real. Kale McCarr's out to injury right now. 87 overall. Wow. How did they finish so good last year? What the heck happened? Did they lose everybody? Oh, we got Yanni Gord back. Neat. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with Colorado in the next one. I'm already debating on asking for a trade, but I will potentially wait till around the deadline time to see how the team's doing. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, we'll pretty much blaze through the season, especially if we're getting this many starts. I don't know what's that. Like, I have no idea why that's happening, but whatever. It is what it is. Maybe they're just tortorella me right now. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. That was a disappointing loss, but I'm excited to start this new adventure here in Colorado, and hopefully we can make it work, but if not, then we'll get moved again. I don't care till we find a good fit. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you soon.